Right, good morning. Welcome back to Glen Press's Shin Adventures. Um, it's been a while. Um, we're back by popular demand. There was a few people when I was in Hungary last week said, Glen, what's going on with the videos? And to be honest with you, I just haven't had the time. Um, well, with the little one and everything now, it's um, hectic schedules, shooting. Um, obviously, I've done I've done a bit, but not as much as usual. In the meantime, in the lead up to the season, um, yeah. So we're back. We're going to try and do a video for you today. I'm off to the Belgian Championship, uh, Compact Championship in Buff. It's about 200 kilometres for me, about two and a half hours drive. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how that goes, and I'm going to give you. Um, bit of an insight into that competition, show you a bit of the ground and stuff and a few of the layouts. Um, it's not the most picturesque back, uh, place, it's on an army base, an old military base, um, but they do have the automated system and this is probably the closest ground to me where I can practice with the, with the automated system and the acoustics release, um, which I think is brilliant obviously. So. Um, yeah, they have that in their favor and it's uh, not a bad place there. Anyway, so just a quick recap on what we've been doing. So, um, hungry last weekend, excellent shoot, ran to clockwork, um, perfect uh, for compact, some real good birds, good targets there. Um, I didn't really do it justice, to be honest. Um, I was a little bit disappointed afterwards. I finished 57th. Um, shot a 185, which is a good average score, um, but I wasn't going to set the world alight that weekend over those four days, to be honest. Um, I shot 322s on three different layouts, and um, that basically ruined, well, put me down the pecking order, so to speak. Didn't ruin my competition, but ruined my chances of a serious top 20 finish, so to speak. When I reflect on the on the layouts, um, I just let too many silly, silly birds go, which I don't usually do. Uh, first day I shot a 48 out of 50, which was a great start. Straight at the first layout, but on the second layout I did a 23 and I missed two singles, and it wasn't a tough layout, and you can't afford to do that at that level. Um, first day should have been a 50 straight. i done the hard work on the simultaneous pairs, and let it slip on the easier layout, which was only one one on report double. So that just gives you an idea of how it went for me. It was a bit up and down. Um, I didn't give up. I kept on going, like I always say. Um, so in the end, I shot 93 the first day and 92 the second day. And I must say the second day's 92 was probably a better achievement than the 93 because I was fighting for a score over the course of the second 100 birds because I'd shot two 22s um, from the first 50. So that always puts you on a back foot. So um, yeah, overall, good result, average result. Um, but again, it's consistent. See, um, I haven't dropped under 90 all season, season so far. So hopefully that will um, turn into some results because the consistency is there eventually and let's hope um, we can do that over the next two days in, in Buff. So um, yeah, I'll speak to you again when I'm at the ground. Um, hope you enjoy the video for today and um, we're speaking between the layouts. So um, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Right, here we are on the first layout. Um, a lot of background noise, so I'm going to speak as loud as I possibly can without talking too loudly. Um, so we're starting on layout two. Um, I arrived 
probably an hour before I'm due to shoot. There's two squads before me. So that's what I normally try to do. Arrive just, just about an hour, maybe a tad more before I'm due to shoot, just to get into the feel of things. Any longer, then I feel like I'm waiting an hour, to be honest. So um, that's the reason behind that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down onto the first layout that we're going to shoot and have a look at the targets and um, get acquainted with um, uh, what's out there for the first for the first layout. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. Right, I'm back. So I had a look at the first layout, and um, yeah, without putting too much pressure on myself, I guess you know, 23 plus, you're looking at on here. There's a couple of guys that you can miss if you're not careful, um, but it's a reasonable one to start on. But you just gotta want to kill everything and not hang on it and try to make sure. So I'm gonna go in there with that attitude to attack, attack. Uh, because there's some birds on there. If you don't attack and you just try to measure them. Um, and try to, you know, make sure. Then that's when you're gonna, you're gonna have problems. So we've got one more squad to go on now, and then um, we're gonna follow that one. I'm not gonna look at that one too much because there are some competitors or people I consider in the room for today. So I tend not to watch them if I can because I don't really wanna see what they shoot. I'm not really interested when I shoot these competitions until the second day. Um, so yeah, first day is just all about for me shooting a score to keep me in contention for the second day. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But there's probably at least um, five people here who could who could win this, you know. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Right, we're back. We shot the first layout, which was layout two, um, as it stands for for today. Managed a 24 out of 25. I'm pretty happy with that. I missed the first target out, which was a mini, and it dipped in the wind. So, good start. Um, the next layout, the squad before us is just shooting now, and there's a lot of fast, uh, trappy type birds, so gun mount's gonna have to be good. Head on the stock, uh, shots, but overall, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like today you're gonna have to shoot a big score to be up there for tomorrow, because tomorrow they'll probably throw the same pairs and, and two doubles, so. Um, we need to do the hard work today, really, to be in a good position for tomorrow. So let's go and, we're going to go and have a look at that now, and I'll uh, put some footage up of that.
Right, well here we are, um, we've done the second layout, we've done the first 50 and I did 23 on that layout which um, I'm a little bit disappointed with. Uh, the, you know, my style was a bit erratic, um, I missed a, a single one bird trap, fast left quarter in going away which you can miss but single I missed it and I didn't even give it my best go, you know, it was a little bit erratic and yeah, it wasn't a nice clean shot, so to speak, and uh, let myself down a little bit on there. I think 24 on there would be a pretty reasonable score, to be honest. And from the both of the layouts that we shot, I think I really think the first layout is straightable. Um, I missed the first one out, obviously the mini, and then went the whole lot straight. And then I've missed one in the double on the on the second layout and a single for a 23. So. I think I'm too light of where I should be. I think 49 out of 50 from them first two for me would have been a good score. I'm at 47, so um, okay. In the grand scheme of things for today, it's it's okay, um, but still I want to take it to that next level and I've dropped two, two silly birds really. Um, so we've got 50 to go. Um, yeah, and I'm feeling pretty good overall. Um, it's very hot out there now. I mean, it's like um, we've gone from cold uh, mid around 16 degrees and now it's probably up to about 24 now. Um, it's pretty warm out there. So I'm sat in the car, I've got the aircon on. Um, I don't want to get too hot and bothered. We've got a long lunch break now, um, about an hour and a half. So um, I've been thinking of things what I can do to kill the time in between because to be honest with you, oh, I just long breaks they don't really suit me to be honest i just want to get on and shoot so um, i'm just going to try to chill out i've got a dvd i'm going to put it on in the car and then um yeah wander down there when they start shooting again when the first squad starts shooting again um so i can go and have a look at the targets because uh, we'll be the third squad starting this afternoon for the next lot um so yeah let's see how it goes on the after lunch I'll um, give you an update once they start shooting. We're going to try and film some of the targets. Should be a bit easier to film down there. It's a bit more open. break is over. Got two more squads to shoot. And this, um, this one's quite a tough one. 
it's a little bit tricky. 23 on here would be a good score. Um, but the lunch break went pretty quick, so that's good. But it's really, really hot now. There's a bit of a breeze down there, which is nice. But it's uh, pretty warm, so yeah, let's see how this one goes. Um, if we can do a 23, I'll be happy. It looks a bit tricky, to be honest, but um, let's see. Let's keep going. We shot two reasonable scores this morning, so we just need to do that this afternoon, and then we'll be in a good position, um, hopefully going into the second day. Uh, normally, I don't really hang around after the first day. I'm not really interested, to be honest, in uh, niceties. I just want to get back, and then I'll have a look at the scores later and see, see how I fared, really. Um, like I said earlier, I think I'm too down on, on what I should have really shot, so uh, let's see if we can pull a few back this afternoon on that. Right, we just done the first layout of the afternoon, so the 70, 75th, we're up to 75 now, um, third layout, um, I straighted it, so I'm over the moon with that, and they were, they were balls of dust, so I was pretty much on fire. Um, I really enjoyed that one. Um, there were some tricky birds there, but I was just on them. I was absolutely smoking some of them. Um, felt like I was never going to miss. It felt really good. I so was really happy with that because I think I probably, you know, somebody will obviously straight that, somebody else. I'm pretty sure of that, but over the course of things, that's a good 23 layout average. So anything above that is good. So I probably pulled a target back on on some of my competitors there, maybe two of them, because it was tricky. So, yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's a good straight on there. So I think I've probably pulled back to where I should be from this morning with one layout to do. I'm only three away, so, um, yeah. If I can do a reasonable one on the next one, then it'll be a good day's work and drive home in the sunshine and come back tomorrow and, and see what we can do. So, last one. Let's go do it. Let's go down there and have a look um, and see how that one goes. But so far, it's been pretty, pretty good. The targets haven't been that easy. Uh, there's been some tricky combinations there, depending on when you where you start. Um, so yeah, let's see what the last one's like. I'll try and do a bit of footage down there for you. Right, uh, last layout. So I've had a look down there. It's going pretty quickly actually. So gonna make this short and sweet I'll try to get some footage of it after I've shot um, for you guys but it's a bit hard because this one's under cover but that's a godsend because it's so hot now in there it's nice and shady and cool so that would be good uh, to finish up on there's some there's some tricky ones on here this isn't easy you've got an overhead bird and because you're under cover you don't see it till late it's not very nice um, you've got a trap bird going out fast at an angle um, so there's some there where you're gonna have to have your pickup points good. You're gonna have to be steady on the gun and, tr and trust yourself. So this will test me for the last one. Again, I think you can quite easily miss a couple on here. Um, it's not bread and butter. So yeah, 23 on above on here will be probably a good score looking at it. Um, even though it's three singles and one on report pair. So, okay, let's see what we can do. Um, I'm hoping for a good finish and then it will be a good day's work so just need to stay focused on this one make sure the gun mounts good and the gun position is good and we should be okay Paul! Paul!
Right, we just pulled over in the car. Um, last layout, uh, we did a 23 out of 25. So finished on 95, pulled it back quite well. So we're on the way home and then um, we'll have a look, see what the scores are and um, put them on the video um, so that everybody can see. But overall, it was a good day, some good targets there. And um, if you didn't watch it, you could have let a few more slip. So overall, uh, pretty happy with today's performance and it should stand me in good stead for tomorrow. Um, I think the top score is going to probably be, be 96 or 97, I think. Um, so let's have a look, see. I, I, I'm thinking 97 is going to be leading and I'm going to be one off the pace. Um, uh, two off the pace, sorry, which is pull back a ball tomorrow because it will be sim pairs and doubles. So um, let's see um, what the scores are later on. See you later. Scores from the first day. Eric van Meelert, 98. Noel van der Nottela, 96. Daniel Barslag, 95. Glenn Presley, 95. Nico Vissers, 95. Edmund Nevins, 94. Bruno Corteza, 94. Cohen van Venenbroek, sorry for the pronunciation there, 93. Erwin van Meelert, 93. Pinto Cosma, 93. That's the top 10 from the first day. Apologies if I pronounce some names incorrectly there. Um, but yeah, three off the pace of the first day. Um, I expect it to be two off the pace. So exceptional shooting on the first day from Eric Van Melot. Right, good morning. Uh, welcome back to Glen Presley Shin Adventures. Um, this is the second day. Uh, we're on the way to, to Buff again uh, for the Belgian Championship, day two. Um, yesterday, I shot pretty well, uh, 95 out of 100, I'm quite happy with that. I let a couple slip, and um, that's been the story of my shooting recently, so um, it was better yesterday though, on the whole it was better. Um, wasn't mega tough, although there were a couple little tricky ones in there where you could, yeah, you slip up on. Um, you know, the, the layouts were all good straight, so I'd say that much. Uh, they weren't definites out there. Um, and then 23 and above, I f think you were doing well. So, um, overall, good shoot. Um, I'm three off the pace. Um, I didn't expect to be that much off the pace going into day two. Um, the leading score's 98 out of 100, which is an immense score around there, to be honest. Um, I was aiming, well... If I had a couple more birds, which I let a silly few slip, then 97 would have been a good score around there. 98, yeah, that's that's exceptional shooting. So um, three off the pace. Today's going to be a bit more trickier. It's going to be doubles and sim pairs. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling, I'm still feeling confident that I can pull back the three birds, and that's my aim today. Um, to go out all out attack. I'm one of the first squads out. I want to post my, I want to post a big score in. Um, and keep posting big scores throughout the day. That's my aim. Get out there, get them in early, and then hopefully close the gap and see if the pressure on me putting in big scores um, has any effect on, on the people behind me um, or, or in front of me, so to speak. So um, feeling confident. Weather's looking good. It's going to be 20 plus degrees again. Um, so again, I'll try and get some footage of today. And um, we'll talk again when, once I arrive at the ground. Um, see you there.
we're back again. Um, shot the first uh, 50 and managed um, 24 on the first layout and 25 straight on the second layout. Um, really happy with that, 49 out of 50, can't really do a lot more um, from what I've seen on those two layouts. First layout was three singles, one sim pair, so 24 on there was pretty good. And then the second layout was one single, two on report pairs, so again, 25 on there is good going. So hopefully I've managed to pull it back out of the first 50. Um, and then we've got 50 to go, and this afternoon it looks like we've got another sim pair behind me. Um, and then I don't know what there is to finish on, but so far so good. Um, we've got a bit of a break now. So I'm just going to sit back, relax, and um, see how that goes. I'm finding it hard to get some footage, to be honest, because it's moving very quickly. And, um, yeah, I haven't got my camera lady with me, I'm afraid, so I'm doing it on my own. So, bear with me. I'm trying my best. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit difficult at times trying to shoot and do video footage of clays, especially behind people on covered layouts. It's a bit, it's a bit difficult. So I'll try my best and um, let you know how we get on after the next one. Right, we're back again. Um, we just shot the third layout, the first one after lunch. Um, one sim pair on there, three singles. Uh, managed a 24 out of 25, um, which I'm pretty happy with on there, to be honest, because the one I missed bounced on the wind in the double, so wasn't a lot I could have done about that. It was a fast bird, and I shot just as it lifted on the wind, so yeah, that's how it goes, right? But there were some tricky ones in there. The trap bird's not a nice bird on there, going away fast, angled to the left. And there was an overhead bird there, which I struggled with yesterday. I missed, I think, two of those yesterday, or one of them yesterday on that layout, and I, I shot it a lot better this time around. So, very happy with that. I'm two away with one to go. So, 24, 25, 24. So I think I'm pretty much on track, to be honest. Um, there's not a lot more I could have done what I have um, the the layout the 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 layout we shot just before lunch was a tough one, and I'm um, straight. So I'm hoping that's going to stand me in good stead. I need to have a look at this next one. I'll do a bit of footage, um, but we got one to go. So let's hope it's enough. We've shot the last one of the day, managed the 24 out of 25. It was one single and two on pairs, so yeah, reasonable uh, sequence. 
Uh, the one I missed, I was a bit unlucky. It was an income from the double, and the wind blew it a bit, and pushed it a bit further out. It was a completely different bird. Um, everybody else's seemed to come in. I watched it a couple of times afterwards, and um, it was very unfair, to be honest. I think it should have really been called a no bird. Um, it, was, it was a lot further out. It was noticeably a lot further out. And um, yeah, when you're a shooter, you know, sometimes if I was refereeing that, then I would have called it for anybody else. At the end of the day, you don't want to take a claim off of anyone. And if um, if I'm short by one today because of that, then I'll be a little bit gutted, to be honest. Um, however, I finished on the 97 today, 95 yesterday. That's a 192. That's my. I think that's my best score of the season so far. I'm very happy with that. It's probably three light. Um, I missed a uh, couple yesterday. Um, which I shouldn't really have missed, like I mentioned. And uh, that one today should have been a call to no bird, really. So I'm three light um, overall, so I um, can't really complain. It's pretty good shooting, very happy with that. I don't think it's gonna be enough to win it, but I tried my hardest to put as much pressure on today as possible. You know, 24s, 25s all the way around. You know, I can't do much more than that. The mindset was good. Um, the finish was good, so, um, you know, if someone else is going to beat that, then the better man won at the end of the day, and you just have to say, well, I couldn't really do any more. So, um, really enjoyed the targets, some really good sequences there. Um, yeah, no complaints, really. Um, probably the only thing I would say is on the on the field stand, there was an overhead bird that gets thrown into a tree. Yeah, why fall into the tree? It makes it a little bit more harder to see for some of the other people, but apart from that, if that's my only thing that I'm mentioning, you know, it's been a pretty good shoot all round, I think, uh, which it usually is. Yeah, they know what they're doing in terms of setting the targets, automated system. Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So, uh, anyway, I'll post the results, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I haven't had my camera lady with me today or yesterday, so um, yeah, I don't know if my footage is as good. You can let me know in the comments section on that one. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Here are the scores from the final day. Uh, Eric Van Mylert shot a 97 on the second day to add to his 98 to have a 195 and be the overall scratch winner and also the new Belgian champion. So well done to Eric. Um, I finished runner-up overall in the scratch or open. Um, I shot a 97 as well on the second day. Don't believe I could have done any more than that. I tried my best to put the pressure on Eric. Um, he was following me, my squad, the whole day. So fair play to him. He was seeing me shoot some big scores and I was shooting pretty well to try and put the pressure on him. And um, he held his ground well and 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 done exceptional. 195 around that course was a was an excellent score. Um, so second place I am 192. Uh, third place Nico Vissers with 190, and Erwin van Milart in fourth place with 190. And a special mention to Daniel uh, Barslak, who is obviously a veteran. And it's come in the top five with a 187, so exceptional shooting there from him as well. Um, so there are the overall scores. I'll just zoom in a little bit there. Um, so overall, very happy with that score. It's my highest of the season so far. And the second day, I was very pleased with my shooting overall. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.